Hi, I'm Dr. Watson. I'm not actually a doctor, but it sounds more credible this way. Asthma is an allergic reaction within the lungs. It takes place within the bronchioles. Now, it can be caused by dust mite feces and also pollen. It's the histamines uh, reacting with the bronchioles. It causes a hyperallergic reaction, which causes the bronchioles to constrict. Only a small amount of constricting will cause wheezing and can be uh, cured with a reliever inhaler. <laughs> if it constricts more in more severe cases, then it causes a shortness of breath and eventually it can secrete mucus when extremely constricted which really stunts the airflow into the lungs and can cause panic attacks which can lead to severe asthma attacks. In asthma, the airways are oversensitive and easily irritated by certain triggers called asthmatic triggers. Most people with asthma are known as atopic, meaning they have an allergic type reaction to external triggers such as house dust mites, pollen, cigarette smoke, animal fur and chest infections. However, for some people, the onset of asthma is unpredictable and can be caused by anxiety, stress or even laughter. An asthmatic trigger causes the airway walls to swell and the muscle around the airways to contract. Due to the narrowing of the airways, breathing creates a whistling sound known as wheezing. Mucus is produced from the lining of the airways, which clogs up the narrow airways further, causing coughing which acts to try and rid of the mucus. The narrowing of the airways can be reversed by removing the trigger or if the inflammation is treated medically. Therefore, preventative treatment is used and can be managed by the patient themselves. An acute asthma attack requires medical intervention, but the type of intervention depends on the severity of the attack. Inhalers are the most common way to control asthma. There are three main types of inhalers, each using different drugs to control asthma in different ways. These inhalers are each used for different severities in asthma sufferers. Reliever inhalers contain rescue medications such as albuterol or perbuterol. These inhalers administer these drugs which help stop the symptoms of an asthma attack by opening up the airways. These inhalers are most commonly blue. Preventer inhalers contain controller medications. These drugs help to prevent and reverse asthma attacks by decreasing the inflammation of the bronchioles. These inhalers must be taken twice a day, daily, to take effect. These inhalers are to treat long-term sufferers who experience symptoms much more often than normal. These are usually brown or red. Long-acting bronchodilators are the final inhaler type. These contain drugs such as salmeterol. These inhalers are basically a long-acting version of the reliever inhalers. They also contain some anti-inflammatories. These are usually a green-coloured inhaler. 